You know, we just heard from Megan from Texas there a minute ago. Uh-huh, yeah, should yeah. have asked her about this problem I've been having. Um, I've got a problem with uh, with raccoons. One in particular. Raccoons. Uh, yeah. Raccoon. Uh, it is the size of, I kid you not, a dog. <laughs> this thing is huge. I've seen it multiple times, usually early in the morning as I'm leaving. Uh, most recently, I see it in the front yard. It digs through our flower beds. Uh, I will walk out there, turn the lights on, and, and uh, it's the size Huge. of a basset hound. Oh, wow. With a tail. And it looks at me like, what? <laughs> I'm here at this hour. You're not. What? Yeah. So Why are you I got to take it. How am I going to get rid of this, this raccoon right, that's right. the size of a basset hound? <laughs> I'll go get a basset hound. Our neighbor, Mark, uh, right. rescues basset hounds, and he walks them all the time. So I went to Mark the other day. I said, hey, Mark, will you do me a favor? Will you parade your dogs through my front yard? Because my dog sadly passed away a few years ago, sure. so I don't have a dog. Will you parade your basset hounds through the front yard and let them do what dogs do oh, all through my yard? <laughs> that smell going, yeah. And he said, really? I said, I'm thinking that might deter this raccoon. raccoon if suddenly it's smelling all these dogs. And basset hounds are hunting dogs. Yeah, but I've never heard of that. Well, I haven't seen the dog in a while. I mean, the basset down in the wild. So, I, the raccoon. The I raccoon. mean, the raccoon in a while. Thank you. Actually, I think maybe you've had a drink or something. No. So I'm thinking it worked. Right. I'm, I'm thinking it maybe worked. Maybe so. Really? Yeah. Well, that's that's ingenious. Now, I don't want to tell my neighbor Mark that it worked because I'm afraid he might send me a bill. Right. Yeah. But, right. No but kidding. He's got a place to go. Let the dog go. I potty, said. You know? I said you've got full reign to the front yard. Let it go. I mean, would you rather have a raccoon or the dog droppings? Uh, the dog droppings. Yeah. The raccoon's making a big mess. And plus, the raccoon's doing its own droppings, too. So. See, that's are, a good idea. Yeah. They're annoying, but gosh, they're cute, aren't they? Raccoons? Yes. They can yeah. be kind of mean if yeah. you have to get cornered. Well, I didn't say well, I want to go one, cuddle with this one. one. <laughs> this one looks at me like, what? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I live here. Like, you're bothering it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. No, no, no. This is my time of day, <laughs> not yours. Well, that's good, because a lot of times you got to cage them and take them out to the country, and that's not fun. No, and you again, know? this is the size you of a dog. You act like you've done so this before. I have. Have you? Yeah, a you? long, long time ago. You rescued a... No, a raccoon. Yeah, raccoon? kept getting up on our porch, and uh, uh, so I got a cage, and... Huh. and uh, Caught him. Okay, this is the guy that cried when he ran over a turtle. I didn't kill I, I it. Get, I know, but I'm just saying I'm it doesn't free. surprise me that you wanted to free it. Uh, I, uh, Born free. Yeah. <laughs> and yours was good, too. You brought another animal in. That's good thinking, man. Yeah, they was going to bring a shotgun in next. I was going to say, I don't think he was wanting to rescue oh, wow. it as much as get <laughs> no, rid of it. I was not wanting to rescue yeah. it. You're exactly right. <laughs>